Isaiah 9, 6. A child will be born to us. A son will be given to us. He will rule over us. And he will be called Wonderful Advisor and Mighty God. He will also be called Father who lives forever and Prince who brings peace. How much did Santa's sleigh cost? I don't know. Nothing. It was on the house. <laughs> Joy to the I made some hot chocolate. Do you want some? Of course. There you go. Whew. Today we're wrapping up our Christmas series for Divine Kids. Have you liked it? Yep. Have you learned a lot from it? Yep. All right, let's see. What was our first lesson about? The lights. You're right. It was about the lights. We talked about how if one light goes bad, the entire string of lights goes bad. And how that was the same as us, how sin made us bad, but God loved us too much to just throw us away, that he sent Jesus to save us. What about week two? Ornaments. Correct again. We talked about ornaments and how Jesus didn't come just for a few privileged or super fancy ornaments. He came for everyone. He came for that mismatched tree. Now what about the third lesson? Your most recent one, Tinsel. Right. We talked about not allowing ourselves to be distracted by everything that's going on and missing out on the true reason for the season, which is? How Jesus was born. That's right. So today we have the last thing to add to our Christmas tree, which is the Christmas tree topper. Do you want to come with me and help me pick it out? Yeah. All right, let's go. Okay, Sophie. So we have two great options for a Christmas tree. So the first one is this beautiful angel or this beautiful star. Hey, did you know that both of these play a big role in the birth of Jesus? No, I didn't. Well, the angel appeared to the shepherds to announce the birth of Jesus. And the star, who followed the star? The wise men. Yeah, the wise men. They announced the birth of Jesus to them. Do you know who the wise men are? No. Well, the wise men, they weren't Jewish followers. They weren't Jewish people. They were actually 
uh, scholars, astronomers, mathematicians, scientists. There were these really intelligent men that kings from Persia and, Bab and Babylon would um, have on as part, as part of their team, as their advisors. They were known as the Magi. Do you know that there's a very famous Jewish Magi in the Old Testament? No, I didn't. Well, there is. His name is Daniel. Do you know who Daniel is in the Bible? Yeah, Daniel in the lion's den. Yeah, that's the guy. He was actually a Magi. You know, he was captured. He was one of thousands of, Jew of Jewish youth that were captured and taken to Babylon. And he was deemed to be one of the smartest and brightest. So he was given a special education and he was then placed in the palace so that he could serve. As he grew, he also began to grow in his rank and he, won, and he became the lead Magi. That's probably how he was able to share his faith with, the, with his fellow Magi and his stories of his faith and he probably shared the prophecies of like Isaiah, and Jeremiah, Elijah, his own prophecies with his other Magi. They, they went from generation to generation. And so that's how those Magi knew about the star. And they knew that the star would announce the birth of baby Jesus. And they went to look for him. Why would they go and look for him? Do you have an idea? No. Well, it'd probably be because they were curious. Maybe they wanted to know if all those stories that they had heard about Daniel and his God were true. Or they might have gone just to worship him. I honestly think it's more the worship part because these Magi didn't come without gifts. They went prepared. They went on a really long journey. I'm talking days and days and days of traveling. And it wasn't an easy it wasn't like an easy travel, not like now. Like we can't hop, they didn't hop on a plane and just take off. They were on camels, and it was desert, and there was land that was unknown to them. And they did all of that to find baby Jesus. I think that their trip demonstrated their faith. First, because they kept looking for first because they kept looking for the star, and next because they packed they packed gifts for baby Jesus, and not just like diapers, they went with gold and spices, and the spices are said to have been even more expensive than the gold itself. And they went to take that to baby Jesus. They went looking for him. Their journey shows that they didn't have a doubt. They, had, they didn't have doubt. They went with great expectation. So, which one do you think we should put up on our tree? Hmm. I think the star. I think the star too. I really like this one. You know, one day, wise men went seeking the star to find baby Jesus, and wise men still seek him. Will you be wise and seek him too? What's every parent's favorite Christmas carol? I don't know. Silent night. <laughs> hey, Zoe. Hey, yo, yo. Um, we are David and Amy from uh, your Divine House teachers uh, with a special message from the rest of the teachers. Um, and we just want to send you some encouragement and let you know that we are thinking of you. We are praying for you, your whole family, and baby Noah. Um, we may not have gone through exactly what you're going through right now, but we do know that when one sibling hurts, we all hurt. And in that same spirit, uh, we wanna let you know that we are thinking of you we are praying for you because you are one of ours. You are one of our family members here at Divine House and Divine Kids. Um, so with that in mind, I think I can say this on behalf of all the teachers, uh, we are looking forward to being Noah's teacher one day as well. So uh, please take care and God bless you. And we are thinking and praying for you guys always.
Divine Kids, please join me on praying for Noah. God, you gave us Noah. We want your hands over him and your miracles over him. Amen.